What's up everybody? It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is April 24th, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I love Fridays. Today we're going to take a look for another indoor grow update. I'm going to show you what I got going on in this tent as well as what I got going on in the second tent and what's really changed since the last time I provided you guys a video which I believe was Monday and I gave you guys a, a full loaded video of what I kind of got going on in relation to what type of lettuce all the new grows all the new grows down here there's just so many reservoirs going on at this time it's hard to keep up but uh, I'm still waiting for my uh, general hydroponic pump I don't know it's because things got delayed due to what's currently going on in the world and in California. So i got to follow up with the seller to see what's up because I really need my general hydroponic pump ASAP because I got, I might need, I might even need two more because of what I'm really considering of doing. And uh, I'm really excited to actually discuss on my love for the fluorescent T5 lights versus an LED light. I'm um, just... I don't know how happy I am with the LEDs that I've been I've been working with. I think I really just like this type of light, and I've been growing in it for so long that uh, I just really I feel like this is the best way. I I don't like anything harsh to my eyes. If you guys would work with different types of lights, you have to wear eye gear. Number one, number two, some lights are a lot harsher on the plants than others. Obviously there's certain lights that provide a specific spectrum in relations to certain lights that are mimicked from, for example, as the sun. Because in, in, indoors we're providing a, 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 a fake replication of the sun. So we want our vegetables and fruits or whatever and herbs to thrive within this type of environment. So it's really important that we have a certain specific light. But anyway, I really love the T5s. I'm still playing with that LED over there for Mars Hydro. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it to give me a beautiful thumbs up as well as make sure to subscribe, share this video, and make sure to hit the bell notification. This time you get notifications every single time I upload a video. Uh, come along with me. We're gonna take a look at every single bin a lot of the new substantial growth that's happened in the last five days as you can see just from this angle and we'll go through every single bin come along all right well let's start with the top tier in the large tent as you can see we got some growth happening okay uh, you start out little by little I mean these guys started out just this big right here okay how wonderful does that look that's that basil it's looking absolutely stunning. Love that. Love basil. Basil is phenomenal. Give me a thumbs up if you love basil. Give me a thumbs up if you like lettuce. Take a look at all this development that's happening. First, let's take a sneak peek. Take a look at the root system. Everything here is looking really, really good. As you can see, a really nice percolation from the air stone. Love that. The root systems are nice and clear. Then a lot of times you might find a dirty looking root system, not necessarily because of rot, but from my experience, it's because of just the uh, the fertilizer that we're putting in there. It's a it's a certain color that will actually kind of dye those roots. But take a look at this abundance of lettuce that I currently have growing. Absolutely phenomenal. The two variations that you can see here, the spotted red one and just a regular one. Really nice little bouquets that are coming along. So I'm really excited for this. I'm going to still probably let this go for... <sighs> Honestly, if you've ever grown and you know about growing indoors or however, uh, you know, I've never actually successfully grown anything like this outside. But in relation to growing this, uh, in, in relation to growing lettuce like this on uh, an indoor platform, I've noticed that if you let them go too long, they're just going to get sour and disgusting. Okay, start getting bitter, not sour, but bitter. So, I, I think honestly this lettuce might have another week to grow and it is ready to take this whole thing down. Start munching on it as I go through. I mean, you could easily, for a, sick, for, for a person, for one plate, I mean, like you could easily take this head right here and take that down. I mean, again, I'm not pumping a huge amount of fertilizer. A huge amount of food is not being pumped into these to really do like overgrowth. I mean, I'm not pumping these up. And I don't like doing that. I like to put a little bit of, give them a little bit of food, let them get nice and plump, nice and nutritious, 
and they're looking phenomenal. I mean, just take a look at this beautiful flower. It's absolutely beautiful. What else do we have back here? Nothing too impressive. Just a bunch of delicious, wonderful lettuce that I'm growing inside. <laughs> and not having to go to the supermarket. Because you know what, let me tell you guys something. I actually bought some produce from the supermarket not maybe like a week ago. I actually ordered lettuce because this isn't really ready. So I'm not really traveling around or going to the stores. I'm getting a lot of stuff delivered to me. And uh, when uh, you know, I really wanted some salad and I noticed when I got the lettuce, I was like, oh my God, this is like rotting away. And they're actually selling this because what's really going on in the world, a lot more people are, are taking upon themselves to buy non-perishables and they're not really buying lettuce or fresh produce if you actually read about it online you'll realize that a lot of the farmers around the world or at least in the u.s are actually throwing this produce away killing crops because they have nowhere to sell it to anyway that was for bin one everything is looking absolutely perfect i hope you uh feel the same way if you do feel the same way make sure to give me a thumbs up by the way everything that I currently have here my entire setup let me take a step back from lights to pumps to fans to shelving to tubing to everything growing mediums clay pebbles net pods you will find the links down below make sure to hit those links and don't have to do any research I did it all for you look at this I can't, I'm excited to take this one down right here this is a kale plant it's such a cute little plant, honestly. Look at these little leaves. It's absolutely phenomenal, and they're so delicate. So, so delicate. And that's uh, actually a wonderful way of eating it. I mean, the, the taste of when things are still alive, when you chop this up and you eat it within 25 minutes of chopping, of taking it down, the taste is unparalleled to anything that you've ever tasted in relation to any of these vegetables. It could be the lettuce, the kale, the basil, the whatever. Okay, if you haven't grown your own and serve this literally from farm to table, because this is my indoor farm, from farm to table, I snip, I bring it upstairs, chop it up, dress it up, boom, I'm ready to go. It's unbelievable. It's truly, again, unparalleled to anything that you've ever had. Now, as you can see back here, we have, this is my lemon balm down here. And let me tell you, the lemon balm's looking good. This bush, these bushes, actually do get a little bigger okay right now as you can see take a look at the size of those leaves take a look at the size of this one now it's got a few large leaves but the difference is because that other one which is interesting that the middle one doesn't have as large of a root development as this one at the uh, at the top right but the one in the middle is growing more vibrant i feel like it's growing bigger and this one's Maybe they're the same size, but I see just like larger leaves on that one over there. But anyway, I think in about a week or so, I'll start picking at it and uh, making some uh, fresh tea. I just take these off. Oh, I love the smell of lemon balm. It's so interesting. A green leaf could actually smell like lemon. It's unbelievable. This actually, on, on this bin, this actually could be one of the larger heads that we have here. I mean, take a look at how large this thing is. That's pretty cool, very unique, I love that. Uh, you'll notice a lot of times if you have overlapping of uh, just grow in general, you'll notice some of them uh, get a little condensation on them, which I feel is okay, there's nothing to it, uh, but you will have that because depending on the temperature or whatnot, in the tent, that's going to happen. I just like to sometimes go inside here and rip off some dead leaves because you're gonna have dead leaves just like that, when the light can't hit certain leaves or the leaves are so little they're just like not being developed properly or whatnot so but overall everything is looking phenomenal here even this like nice little bouquet right here it's going to be beautiful and delicious it's feeling really crispy as you can see here a little bit of water with that condensation there excellent so that's for bin two let's go over to bin three here this is uh relatively the newer grow that i actually put in uh, I believe on Monday after I, I shot the video and showed you guys everything. Uh, as you can see here, uh, basil, basil, and basil down here. And uh, I love the fact that on here I have three different basil uh, plants set up in just one rock wool. I think that's the best way to do it. That's how you get really the highest yield for your 
you know, for your space. I mean, why do I why do I have one plant in here and I got three in the same space? I mean, imagine how big this is going to grow and develop in the next uh, two weeks. I mean, this this herb, the basil plant. Wow, it smells amazing. It d goes really fast. It builds huge, thick stems. I mean, honestly, you can't even. Sometimes you might even have to throw away your net pod because the root systems are so heavy on basil plants. It's unbelievable. And these are the same two type of lettuces that you see here. It's the more spotted one, which is this type of buttery lettuce, and more of this one as well here. So I'm interested. I have wonderful seeds upstairs. I have some romaine ones that I'll be developing really soon to fill in the bottom two reservoirs. But as of right now, this is what's currently going on here. Let's take a look if we have any developed root systems right now. Yeah, things are coming along nicely as you can see from this view right now. A couple of little, little, little ones peeping through. And what you want to be careful with, you want to make sure you push your plants. See, we're ready. That happens right there. When you have reservoirs that are so close, you're gonna have plants that kind of go inside here and they get squished, they get chopped up. And I actually hate when that happens. Anyway, let's take one more look at what we have at bin. One, two, and three. Absolutely wonderful. Really excited to get to dig into this here. I can't I can't stress enough how important it is for you guys to maintain your own grow. I just came down into my basement and I'm able to eat produce I don't have to go. Produce that is the most edible, such as lettuce, such as herbs. It, I, you know, I'm not talking about carrots. I'm not talking about, you know, other humongous plants. I mean, I've even grown uh, indoor hydroponic bok choy, which was delicious. So take a look at my, uh, my uh, previous videos for that. Let's go to uh, bin four here. I actually, if you notice right here, I have two of my tomato plants that I had in the uh, in the Mars Hydro tent. But I decided I'd be crazy at least not to start them off or get them going underneath the fluorescent T5. And unfortunately, this one right here is missing two bulbs, so it's not even getting that full impact of uh, probably I don't know 6,500K of this warm light. So I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what two of those bulbs are doing, but anyway, I might have to. I gotta, I gotta get in there probably this weekend. Take off those two um, broken bulbs and get them switched out immediately, as I need these. Especially, I'm really excited to see what can grow and what can develop from these beautiful tomato plants. I mean, this is the first time I'm growing indoor tomato plants. These are Roma tomatoes. And they are absolutely stunning. Let's just take a look inside to see if we have... Oh, okay. So we have one little uh, root system development, which is nice. Taking a little bit of time, but that's okay. And we have a couple more here, little scragglers. And, you know, I actually did this. I changed this out just a couple of days ago because I realized, you know what? I just don't know what's going on with that, with, with, with the LED light. I'm just like not... Under the light, things just look scarier. I'm not even kidding. Things just look scarier. And uh, I really just can't even tell on what's developing properly under there or not. We're going to take a look in there just in one second. As you can see here, I'm keeping the temperature going. It, because the tent is open and it's fairly still cold outside. It's like 52 degrees out here in the, uh, on the East Coast. I'm at 73.2 and 46 humid, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, as you can see here, I just wanted to show you real quick. Remember in the last video I talked about net pods? Here is this one full of rock wool. Okay, take a look at that. Rock wool can't get out, right? And here's the more crappier one. If I shake this hard enough, one of those will easily pop out. As you can see, they're, they're basically popping out. But I, I tried my best to use the largest ones possible to refrain, you know, to keep them from doing that. But in this grow, uh, everything's looking pretty good. Everything's pretty uh, mature. We have again the same type of lettuce as you can see here. Super spotty in this case right there. Super spotty right here. And the same type of lettuce back here and up here. And I have a one basil plant back there as well as these two tomato beauties which I'm super excited for. Hopefully they grow uh, a deeper root system. But I'm, you know, I mean that's actually coming up pretty good. That's not bad. 
but for the tomato plants to really strive or thrive I really wanted to have one dedicated pump to this that's just like literally percolating like crazy to provide the highest possible oxygen level that it can let's go over here and that's for that let's go over here and take a look at the Mars hydro tent and just see what's going on in there it's just everything just looks a little sadder in here I don't know is it me is it I don't know I mean just look at this uh, I, you know for whatever reason I, is this is this too far you know for you guys have grown I mean I feel like this isn't too far this is the first time I'm actually growing in this type of light in this like LED light okay to me this is far but but the scarier part about this is is that I feel like the plants are being like burnt up a little bit I mean like just take a look at that okay I feel like the leaves are kind of like devastated and I you know I took some uh, feedback from one of the subscribers and I did I, I am doing my best to turn off the light here every so often give it a little darkness but I mean like the overall development factor in comparison from this tent to the other tent it's you know it's unmatched because I mean look at what's going on with this little scraggly basil why is it like that I don't know why is the lead is just not developing? I mean, honestly, maybe I'm talking a little premature, but I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared for some of these plants. I mean, I'm not even seeing any any root development from this, and I'm I'm almost scared for the fact that it's 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 due to the fact of the type of light that I'm using. I know I did you know hear some good feedback again from the same uh, viewer that the overall spectrum for this light is good and it should be it should do well for um, for these uh, uh, tomato plants but I'm just not seeing the results that I want to see for for whatever reason the type of light that it's giving off I don't know if I'm just happy with it that's where I am with this um, in conclusion I might actually have to take at least two more of the tomato plants and transition them back into the other tent and maybe just you know what keeping them in this form right here and just taking two cutting them out of the rock wool and planting them outside in some dirt because you know what I realized I think it's really important for me to actually bring things like this in this form grow them up and then transition them into dirt it's interesting because I see a lot of people putting things into dirt growing them and then transition them into the hydroponic format which is really interesting anyway guys uh, once again please make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button and share this video to everybody that you feel will benefit from this make sure to also hit that uh, bell this way you get notifications every single time I upload a video and make sure to hit the links down below to grow like me to get everything that I currently have I did the research for you so you don't have to spend your hard earned time to actually try to find things okay everything is right there that you need again have a phenomenal weekend guys i hope everyone's doing amazing i hope everyone's keeping safe and that's all i have for you so again thank you so much for tuning in guys this is mike with grow indoors 365 talk to you guys soon make sure you're growing keep it clean keep it green <laughs>